Hi everybody, welcome to LAB. Thanks for tuning in today on my vlog all about my favourite websites for helping you find a training contract, pupillage and generally finding out a little bit more about the legal profession. So before I start, I'm gonna make a disclaimer and say do not stress about trying to remember all these websites or taking notes all the way through because they will all be linked in the bio below. So you can just sit back, relax and listen to the wonderful sound of my voice. So without further ado, the first one I wanna mention is lawcareers.net. This is one of my favorite starting places. If you're not sure what you're doing yet and you haven't really done much research, then try lawcareers.net because it's a really good overview of the training contract application process and also applying for pupages as well. And it will tell you a little bit about what you should be doing to start off with. But also one of my favorite things about lawcareers.net is the My Locker facility. My Locker you can get by signing in, setting up an account, and then all you have to do is just click on the link to My Locker. And that basically allows you to put in all of your basic information about yourself. So your name, address, contact details, and also your educational details. So your degree results, school, GCSE results, things like that. And it basically makes it hugely easier when you start applying for training contracts and pupillages. I've got to say that not all of the law firms are signed up to use My Locker, but a lot of them are. So I would definitely recommend opening a My Locker account and getting your details stored in there, just in case you do apply to any of those law firms. Okay, so that is mylawcareers.net. The next one is the Chamber Student Guide. So Chamber Student Guide, not dissimilar from lawcareers.net, but what I really like about the Student Chambers Guide is the fact that it's got a flowchart in the How to Become a Solicitor section which tells you what you should be doing when. You should really think about applying for training contracts as early as you possibly can, or at least opening the application form as early as you can. So this timeline will really help you start putting in place the measures that you need to be thinking about when you're starting your application process. And there's a timeline both for law students, so if you are studying law at the moment and you want to think about what to do in your second year and third year of law school, but also if you are a non-law student and you're thinking about doing the graduate diploma in law, then there, are also a there is also a timeline for that, so you can start thinking about what you need to do if you are doing that. Okay, next one I want to talk about is the Legal 500. I've mentioned this on my How to Choose a Law Firm vlog because it's really helpful for seeing who the main players are in the different areas of law. So it's filtered by practice area and also by region. So essentially you can look at who are the top tier firms for a particular practice area in a particular region. So if you know you're interested in a particular area but you're not sure who the best law firms are to apply to who specialise in that area, then have a look on Legal 500 and you will find out a bit more about them there. So that's Legal 500. Next one is the Lex 100. So I like the Lex 100 because it's really catered towards future trainees and future pupil barristers. It gives you a bit of the inside lowdown and things that some other law websites won't tell you. Things like um, the friendliness of the firm, what your work-life balance is gonna be like, some real genuine insight from trainees. If you wanna find out a bit more about that, a bit more of the unofficial stuff rather than the figures and facts that they just post on the firm websites. So I like that one. The next one I wanna talk about is Lawyer To Be. Lawyer To Be has a lot of blogs on it which are really helpful in terms of your application process and also just generally about applying and the law profession. So it will say things like do's and don'ts of interviews, how to impress your application and sort of things like that which are really helpful in terms of helping you tailor your application forms and just practical advice for what you should be doing when. So that is Lawyer To Be. And the next one I wanna talk about is the Law Gazette. So the Law Gazette is basically like a legal newspaper. So it gives you lots of great articles about changes that are happening in the, in the legal sector, any new laws that are coming in, and things that you might be asked about at interviews. So they're really helpful, just small bite-sized articles that are easy to digest. I get a lot of my information for, the, for all the weekly roundup from that website. So have a look on there just to brush up on your commercial awareness and to give you a bit of a head start on that. So those are the ones that I really wanted to mention. It's not a hugely long vlog today because I don't want to overload you with information. Of course, there are loads of websites that are catered towards trainees, legal profession, all of that. Um, so you don't need to limit yourself to those ones, but those are just my favorites because they're easy to digest and they're easy to read. And I thought I would share them with you to give you a bit of help. So that's all I want to talk about. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Please leave me some feedback, thumbs up or thumbs down, and also give me any ideas for future vlogs that you'd like me to do. Uh, as I said, hope you enjoyed today, and if you want to see more from me, please subscribe. Thanks very much.